today we are going to see about innovation on the market innovation on the market what is innovation yes what is innovation they bring in new ideas yes so bringing of new ideas and new technologies in the market is known as innovation so market innovation is very important okay for a product market innovation is very important it sees how the markets are created and transformed how they are creating markets and how they are transforming it that is known as market innovation and uh, like the market innovation we have uh, the guide or the importance of market innovation importance of market innovation why it is important so we need innovation because the customers has to be satisfied if you keep on selling the same goods and the products the customers will not be satisfied for example if uh, she is selling the same clothes without any advancement without any changes without any updations so the customers will be getting bored and they will not buy the clothes from her is or no so there should be some updation there should be some innovation which at which attracts the customers which is satisfied to the customers so the market innovation is done in order to satisfy the customers okay in order to satisfy the customers so that is the importance of innovation in marketing and we have types of market innovation types types of market innovation the first one is radical innovation radical innovation what is radical innovation you might have uh, like uh, seen like some some changes some innovations will be bring radical drastic changes like uh, what example can you tell like some innovation a new product brings a drastic change in the business do you have an example for that your company is like getting 50 50000 profit means if you introduce a product a new product a innovative product after introducing that new innovative product you will your profit will be like 2 million so this is a drastic change it is not a normal change it is a drastic change drastic change means it is a sudden change okay it is a sudden change which is which is unacceptable we cannot accept it with a normal nature this drastic change is known as radical innovation when a product when a innovation is a radical and it is a drastic then it is known as radical in innovation then the second one is incremental innovation
so increment what is increment in a in a normal man's view what is increment increment is like adding something to your already you are getting a pay already you are getting a salary but adding something to that is the increment okay mm -hmm. so your increment innovation is that already the products will be there but adding a simple features to your product a small changes in your product it is known as incremental innovation it will not be a big one but it will be a small change only but it affects the market that is known as incremental innovation so it, it is not a big change but it is a small change which affects the market okay that is known as incremental innovation your third one is disruptive innovation disruptive innovation so disruptive and uh, innovation is the innovation which is based on behavioral and technical innovation that is due to the changes which are made in the employees behavior or any technological changes so disruptive innovation is like it is a innovation which is based on the behavior changes and technological changes so nowadays if you see the customers are not willing um i don't know whether in lilongwe you have a theater do you have a theater to go and watch movies yeah no sir no well city mall yeah english movies yeah or korean uh, there is difference when they can you look at one movie they think oh okay okay city mall here where in city mall Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, like there was a behavior in the human mind. There was a behavior in the people. Like they, if you want to watch the movies, they will go to theaters and watch. But nowadays, due due to this Netflix, are you aware of this Netflix? Mm -hmm. New movies are coming in that itself. Mm -hmm. So it affects. Sir. Okay. It is a new innovation which affects the market. so through netflix through instagrams through telegrams we all download movies and we watch it so these are all the examples for innovation now you are clear yeah. so these are the three types radical incremental and disruptive radical is a like any innovation which is very drastic they don't give time for thinking at all it will be all in a sudden move and incremental is it will be a only a small added advantage to the already prevailing features so already there will be innovative innovative features in the product but anything added to like a small part will be added to the already prevailing innovation and the third one is your disruptive it is the human the innovation which affects the human behavior and the technologies so these are the three types and the examples as we told like netflix instagrams through telegrams and nowadays in older days if you want to like check plagiarism the dissertation we will have the plagiarism but now it is a software so everything like the technology has been affecting the innovation so when you have been asked to write you should write with the example okay just don't write uh, the question as it is 
right you should write with an example why innovations are important especially in business yes why why it is important okay uh, like it is important because it allows adaptability especially in covid 19 if you see in covid 19 we cannot have schools and the colleges so what we did we adapted to a new innovative technology like your g uh, like your links what is that google meet and other learning platforms so it is a new technology okay so it it is easily adaptable so the first and foremost important thing is it allows adaptability it allows us to adapt to a new technology or a new culture the second one is it helps or it fosters growth it helps the growth of the organization so since covid 19 is affected it doesn't mean that the business all is over, stopped no we are still functioning so the it also allows the business to grow because if you are giving if you are coming out with innovative ideas it helps the business to grow and it separates the business from the competitors it helps to separate the business from the competitors so most of the companies they have lot of competitors if you take a chocolate they have different competitors if you take dress they have different competitors so innovation helps you to differentiate your competitors and the products okay so these are the three importance of why innovation is needed in a business clear yeah. so the first one is clarify then idea then develop from that then implement so these are the four stages or four phases of innovation first you have to clarify then idea generation then develop and last one is implement so clarify it is the first process of clarifying a problem okay it involves this first process it involves lot of research so we cannot say blindly that this this product has a problem so that we need to innovate no it involves lot of research and after the research only we can conclude that this product this product needs a innovative product okay so the first important phase is clarifying whether it really has a problem or not after clarification then the second one is idea generation the second phase is idea generation it involves ideas to solve the problem so in the first phase you have identified the problem in the second phase what you are going to do you are going to identify the problem uh, the solutions for the problem
solutions for the problem and in the th third stage and those solutions are going to be idea we are going to make those solutions into actions okay we are going to emphasize which is the most suitable solution for that problem so the first one we are going to clarify what is the problem then we are going to like give the solutions to the problem <coughs> then the third one from that solution you are going to select the most suitable solution we are going to develop the most suitable solution and the last one is going to be your implementation process and that is the final stage so in this implementation stages you will be giving the uh, product customers product and you are going to observe what is going to happen so implementation process and the idea generation is very important okay these two are the key elements for innovation so these two phase is very important for idea like innovation innovation of a product clear so these are the phases of innovation if you have doubt you can just ask me you can take uh, the assignment topic i just write it why great innovations need great marketing so what is the deadline you want to be yes i i put the email my email address in the group okay so what is the deadline february yes when second week of february means like just tell me when is the second week of february friday submitting on 10th of february is it yes you agree yes okay entrepreneurship so your group is entrepreneurship or entrepreneurship class yes. entrepreneurship class just message yeah. in the group and i put the topic also
Okay, the day is fifth, tenth, okay? Yes, just put it in my email. Mm. Otherwise, how you? Did you send it? Yes. Okay. Otherwise, how you would put the assignment in the school portal? No. Yeah, sometimes, but mostly send it in email. Ah. Okay. So this, uh, I'll send you the course material, the lecture notes also. Okay. okay. Um, so I think with this we can, like, your first unit is over. Yes. Next is business planning. What is the business planning? Yes, what is the business plan? I think uh, it's just that you can how the idea is important to the direction. Yes, it is like a startup. Okay, it is like making a plan for your business. Plan for your action. Okay, that is known as business plan. Uh, there is a, like a possibility of two business also having the same product. But the business plan will be different. They will be having a different plan. The one may be having a different one, the other one will be different. Because both may be selling the same product, but the plan will be different. What, what is the product, when they are going to start, everything will differ from one to other one. And more specifically in a business plan, what is the document they will be writing is, they will be writing the organizational goals, the objectives and purpose of a business. Why they are going to start a business, what is the main purpose of that business. What is the main objectives of that business? What is the goal? So these are all the things which will be in the business plan. So the advantages of business plan. The advantages of business plan. The first and foremost one is it sets objectives. So when you are preparing a business plan, you will be setting objectives, you will be setting benchmark. So this organization is like that. So how I am going to start my business? So you will be setting the objectives and benchmarks. That is the first and foremost advantage. The second one is it maximizes the resources. So whatever the resources which are available in and around Malawi. We are going to maximize it for my business. Maximizing the resource allocation. The next advantage is it helps in decision making. It helps in decision making. Like if you have a business plan, how to go through the business, then it will help you to make decisions whether I am like, I have to continue this business or not. What is the profit I am aiming? So it will help you in decision making also. Then it helps you to fix the past mistake. So in our business we cannot say that we always flourish, we always success. No. We will be having some mistakes also. So, it will help you to fix the past mistake, what we have done previously.
and the next advantage is it attracts investors it attracts investors so business may be having lot of investors but if you have a business plan and, and if you like properly plan a business then it will attract your investors they will come to invest in your business yes and the last one is it enhances the viability of the business it enhances the viability it changes business plan helps to change the concepts into reality so it is not only in papers but it also make you to function in real okay so these are the advantages of business plan viability of the business so it should not be always in paper we should always make it into practical okay so we should make into like application for the business so these are the advantages of a business plan we have types of business plan types of business plan so the first important type is startup plan startup plan i will hear this word startup business nowadays it is becoming very famous it is a common term which everyone use startup business Are we here? Ah uh, no. Yeah. <coughs> so it is nothing that like it is not a very big concept, but it is a very easy concept. Like two three friends you join together who are having common goal and interest. For example, if you six join together, if your goals and objectives are common, you can join together and start up a innovative business. that is known as startup business for example if you see um are you aware of the like have you seen the trains train okay so in malawi i think there is no like public trains but i think there is a goods which helps in this courier and cargo so uh, in other countries okay in other countries there is a train for public you would have seen in the series and in the films there is a train for public so they will use it to go to one place to another place for example from nilavi to black nilavi so when you are traveling in train there is no possibility to get food in the train okay so the only way is either you should take the food or you have to buy in the stations where they stop the train but we we may not sure that the food which is uh, like sold in the stations may not be hygienic may not be the food which you want and may not be like cost effective also so uh like in i think in uk like three or four students who have completed the mba they joined together and they started a mobile app a food app for the train people So, if you are traveling from a long way to Blantyre, if there is any two stations or three stations in between, and if you want to have food beans, if you put a request in that app, they will come and deliver to the next station. So, it means the food is hygienic, it is hot also, it is not very costly. So, like this, a startup business is a business which is joined. by two three people especially friends 
who have common goal objectives and interest so the business plan which is prepared for this startup business is known as startup business plan that is one type of business plan now you are clear yes. the second one is expansion plan expansion plans so already you will be doing one business so in order to expand your business maybe for example if you take this tipigo uh, we can we can uh, think that they are having only one branch or if they are having five branches and they need to add another five branches means it is an expansion plan say so, so they need to have a business plan in order to expand their business in order to develop the business the growth the business okay that is known as expansion business plan the third one is feasibility plan So based on the customers, their like likeliness, their changes. Based on the customers, the products will be changed. So for example, if I am not uh, liking a uh, uh, dairy milk chocolate, means if the customers, lot of customers are saying the same thing, then the company will be changing the business, like one product to another product, based on the consumer products, consumer willingness. so a business plan will be feasible it can be changed it will not be a rigid one okay that is feasibility plan and the next plan is strategic plan and the last plan is strategic plan so what is strategy what is strategy it will be like a thinking that is setting up to to a third person okay yes procedure procedure okay then so we can say that it is a process or procedure like uh, uh, to come up with new plans or new ideas to attract the customers okay so strategic plan should be made because the business plan should be attractive it should be innovative it should be creative so it should be attractive to the customers so these are the different types of business plans then we have the key areas of business plan what are the important areas of business plan so the first and foremost key area of business plan is executive summary so the or executive summary if you give a executive summary it helps you to give the clear picture of your business it will explain the clear picture what is happening what is going to happen in your business which year you are going to start what is the product you are going to concentrate what is the budget you have done so it will help the executive summary will help the readers to know about your business and the second content is business dis description business description so 
So business description it describes the about your business. Either it is a sole trainership or a partnership. What is the strength of your business? Where we are going to have the business? What is the profit expected? So it helps you to describe the whole nature of your business. The third comp uh, component is market analysis. Market analysis. So this market analysis helps you to find out what is the current position of your market and what is your future space in the market also. Yes. It helps you to understand the current position of your business and analyze the future scope also. So through market analysis we can understand who are all our competitors, how we can strategically face them. And the next one is financial planning. Financial planning is very important element in a business plan. We have, we have to know what is our budget, budget, what is our income expenditure, what is the ratio and uh, how many partners are there and how much share we are going to give it to each partner. So everything is very important. Financial plan is very important. Okay. So there should be a summary, then business description. Market analysis and financial plan. So these are the key elements of a business plan. For this, for this business plan, to make a business plan, we have nowadays lot of softwares. One software is business software. One software is a live plan. business sorter then we have this plan and log so these are some of the softwares nowadays they use to develop a business plan it makes us like lazy So if you give your details in these apps, then they, it will generate you the business plan. Business sort S-O-R-T-E-R, okay. This is live plan, this is this plan and envelope. So if you are interested to start a business, then you can give these details to this one software. It will develop for you a business plan. But don't become so lazy, you generate by yourself. Okay? Yes. Then only you will know how to handle the situation, what is your business goal, objectives, how you can financially tackle the issues. Otherwise, you, for everything you should be then dependable to the softwares. So clear? So far you are clear? Yeah. Yeah. So we have some challenges also for business plan. Challenges of writing a business plan. <coughs> the first one is a business plan should be attractive. A business plan should be attractive because when we are writing a business plan, we are not only key going to keep it within ourselves, but we may go to some banks, some financial institutions and give you a business plan for money. So at that point of time, we need a business plan which is more attractive. 
so one of the most important challenges you should create a business plan which is attractive okay and the second one is you should make a business plan interesting interesting and clear you should make a business plan interesting and clear it should be a self explanatory one the bank or manager should not call you and ask you to explain your business plan no it should be a self explanatory one if i read your business plan i should be able to read what is your go what is that going in your mind so it should be a self explanatory and the third one is like it should speak about your business idea it should speak about your business idea in which area you are expert are you really interested in having your business or not so these are the challenges